Hey guys, it's me Orin and welcome back to the basement. This video is me being real with you guys for a couple minutes about my future plans for both this channel, my for both this channel and my content. <clears throat> now, for starters, I want to apologize for the absence that I've had in my overall presence online over the past couple of weeks. A, a lot of stuff's been going on. Finals, computer problems, technical difficulties. Uh, like I said in my vlogs before I even started the basement library, I am still in college. So this week was finals week. These past few weeks have been leading up to the finals weeks and with four classes and needing to pass so I can actually transfer into a university. Anyways, so that's done and out of the way. I also had to pick up an actual job. Now, I don't want to insult any YouTubers out there because I know that YouTube eventually <clears throat> pays out money that would constitute it as being a real job but as it stands right now my YouTube money is is cents on the dollar for the ad revenue that I've been able to generate I'm just happy that there are 50 people almost 50 people willing to watch my stuff because I mean that's really honestly quite mind-blowing and thank you guys for that now now that finals are done and I'm getting my job schedule straightened out and the summer is here, meaning my course load will be significantly lessened to only four credit hours instead of twelve, I should be able to be able to start pumping out more content. Hopefully. So I'm going to be working my ass off to get back to my original plan for Orin Plays to be two uploads a day. And it's going to be tough, but I'm going to do my damnedest to make sure that it happens. Now, I might miss the deadline of the day and up, end up uploading it by like 1 a.m. on the next morning. But since I haven't gone to sleep yet, I'm still going to count that as me meeting my deadline. But I'm going to try to get them up before midnight. <clears throat> now, the Basement Library, the actual review show on the part that's part of the Basement Library project. That review show is was originally intended to have two reviews a month. I don't think I'm going to be able to meet that type of upload schedule just with my inexperience with video editing and my inexperience with actual script writing because normally when I act, it's me ad-libbing stuff with a general guideline of what I'm supposed to be saying and usually that ends up like this in a scene that's supposed to be relatively professional ends up with me fumbling over words and just sort of talking at the camera rather than performing so script writing and editing is something that I'm not as used to as I should be and that is going to bump the production uh, time or the the ability the production quantity down to only one a month and I'm going to do my best to meet that as well now that being said I'm looking for something that will meet my other upload requirement because I don't want Orin plays to be on this next thing that I'm going to bring up because that's too many videos a day for what I've seen of this particular group of people and now that brings me to my next point channel awesome Channel Awesome is currently having a talent seek, talent pickup, drive thing that they're doing. I'm, I, I heard about it through a friend, watched the video, and then, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I've, I watched Channel Awesome for a long time, but I hadn't watched the video until that explained it until recently. So, 30, May 31st is the deadline for the audition, um, and I would like to audition the basement library project the review show and something else to be my two upload a month requirement at least minimum of two uploads a month and I was thinking of doing a of, of making the other part of the basement library that would be part of channel awesome if I made the audition and I I was the one that they picked would be the drunk minecraft which once and that is reliant on me having a consistent other person at least one other person for me to be able to do drunk minecraft um, I also have other shows that are coming that are 
well, hopefully going to be coming out as soon as I am able to afford the tech for them, which are shows like uh, Analog Threesome, which is the show that I'm planning that's going to be kind of Game Grumps-esque, because I know that a lot of you guys that are subscribed to me watch The Grumps, to give you an idea of what it's supposed to be. It's going to be me and two other friends sitting on a couch playing console games. And I don't intend on having a face cam up here or up here like I do in the Orin plays, because I'd like it to be just our audio play off of each other. Another thing that I'm working on right now is animations. I'm going to college to be an animator, and I'm working on it very slowly. Uh, animation's not something that I'm used to, nor is it something that the people that teach at the community college I go to are very accustomed to teaching. So most of this is self-taught with being educated in how to be more efficient at just digital art in general. So I'm going to be working over the summer to try and start making those animations. I have two sample animations that are just sort of stick figures. I'm going to put them together and upload them uh, under the first installment of Shadowed Prince Productions, um, which is going to be what the animations will be under. So that's what's coming out hopefully within the next uh, month in addition to the channel trailer and at least uh, one compilation which is probably going to be a horror reaction compilation. Now, horror games. I know for a fact that every single one of you sadistic lovely bastards love seeing me scream and wet myself playing horror games. So, uh, amnesia has been a problem. Uh, not with me personally being able to handle it, but my recording software failed and I thought that I had recorded two episodes and I ended up not having any of the footage so I can either start from where I was from where I currently am and miss several hours of me not hours but about an hour's worth of me effing up and screaming terrified curses to the heavens or I can play through the game again and get back to the point that I was at um, and for me, because the entire point of the Amnesia series was to document my entire process of going through this game, I personally would like to do the latter of the two options, which means that it could be another month before I get back to Amnesia. In the meantime, I'd like to see some suggestions for other horror games that you guys would like to see me play, because I know for a fact that you guys love seeing me wet myself playing those games. So. If any of this makes any sense and you're still watching me up to this point, you're still watching this video, thank you for sticking with me. And thank you for sticking with me during this absence that I've had from the internet. I'm looking forward to performing and putting out a lot more content in the future. And I'm looking forward to submitting content that I'm happy with for my addition to Channel Awesome. And here's to hoping that that becomes a thing. So other than that, guys, I'll see you next time right here in the basement.